Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So we'll continue to the uh, next chapter, which is uh, about pronouns. So there is a connection. What we were discussing last time was uh, one of the four properties of an ism, which is status. So continuing with that as kind of a sub chapter, which is connected to that, is pronouns. So pronouns do not follow the rules of status discussed earlier. So it's slightly different. They do not show the four ism properties in the standard normal way. So the, the four ism properties, um, which we mentioned a few chapters ago, is gender, number, type, and status. And pronouns are always proper. So meaning the ism type, so the four properties, one of them is type. So the type refers to whether it's proper or common. And so pronouns is proper. So meaning proper is something that's specific. So if we say the garden, that's some, you're referring to something that's specific, so it's proper. Or if, if we said a garden, that's something that you've, you're just referring to any garden, so it's cool, that, that would be considered common, whereas pronouns are proper. So there's two types of pronouns for now we will discuss. Um, one is the ind independent pronouns, which is called the mir, uh, the mir, uh, the mira il munfasil. And the attached pronouns is the ma'irul muttasil. Uh, the independent pronouns. We'll start with that first. So they are they are an uh, ism by themselves. So the uh, the independent pronouns are an ism by themselves. They do not attach to other words, and they are always rougher in status. So the table, this table below, shows the ind prona independent pronouns. Um, it shows uh, the gender. It shows the number, so whether it's single, dual, and plural. And if you remember that in Arabic, the dual and plural are separate, unlike English. So dual obviously is two, and plural is three or a three and more. Uh, and this table also shows a grammat grammatical person. So what we mean by the grammatical person is whether it's third person. So we're talking about people that are far away like they. Second person is when you talk about people that are closer, like you. And first person is when somebody talks about themselves. So this table shows all three things. Um, so uh, independent pronoun chart. So if we just start from the right side, uh, so if you look at the singular and masculine, masculine so it's uh, we start with the, the first one, which is huwa. And this means he or it. And then the, the next one then left, the dual masculine is huma. And that means both of them. And then the plural masculine is hum, which means they. And all of this is obviously the third person, because uh, we're talking about people that are far away. Uh, then feminine singular is called hea, and that means she. Or we can refer to it as well. And then the, the dual for the feminine is the same as the masculine, is huma. But in this case, obviously, we're referring to women. So both of them, women. And then the third person plural for the feminine is hunna, uh, which means they, meaning women, hunna. And you notice that there's a difference between the masculine and the feminine for the plural. The masculine plural is hum, and the Feminine plural is hunna for the third person. And if we move to the uh, singular masculine in the second person now, it's anta, which means you when you're talking to a man. And antuma is you too. Uh, and then antum is all of you, men, uh, all, all of you. And then if we move to the second person feminine, the singular is anti, which is you, but you're talking to a woman, anti. And then antuma is exactly the same as the masculine dual. Uh, and then uh, all of you women is antunna. So all of you women, which is similar to the uh, plural third person feminine hunna. You can see they both make the ending sound is the same, hunna and antunna. And then if you move to the last thing, which is the first person, uh, the singular, uh, and, and this applies in terms of masculine and feminine, it's the same thing. So the first person, Singular is ana, which means I. And if you want to say we, it's nahnu. And the thing that um, uh, to know 
is that when we're talking about a group of uh, so three or more we're talking about so plural if we talk about just the plural which is three and more if we've got a group of just men then we would use hum so it's a third person plural masculine hum but if we had a group of only women then we would use hunna that's straightforward but if you had a, a mixture of men and women together as a group then you would use hum so hum would actually it, it, it's a group of three and more but you can ref, those three can be men uh, men or a mixture of men and women but if it's just women then then you'd use hunna but if there's a mixture of men and women then you can use hum uh and it's the same thing for uh uh antum antunna and uh antum same thing so same rule applies that if you talk if you're talking to like when you say all of you which is antum if it's just masculine men then you can say antum and if it's just women then you say antunna but if it's a mixture of men and women that you're talking to then you can just say antum so you use a masculine version uh now if we move to attach pronouns so so the first was independent and then you have an attached pronoun and each independent pronoun it comes in the form of an attached pronoun so every independent pronoun in this chart has a, a form that it can take in the form of an attached pronoun uh, and they attach to a haraf, a fi'il or an ism so they can attach to any one of these three now the attached pronoun is always nasab or jar in status it can never be rafa only the independent pronoun is rafa but when you convert the independent pronoun to an attached pronoun then it can only ever be jar or nasab now determining if the attached pronoun is nasab or jar will be discussed later so this here we've got uh, the same chart as above which is the independent pronoun chart but we've added the attached pronouns as well underneath so if we look at the first one, the first line, you can see huwa, which is the independent pronoun. But then the attached pronouns are shown below it, which is hu or he. So huwa is the independent pronoun. And if you want to make that into an attached pronoun, then it becomes either hu or it becomes he. And then huma either becomes huma or hima. And then hum, which is the independent pronoun, becomes if you want to convert that into an attached pronoun it becomes hum or him and then hia the independent pronoun as an attached pronoun is just ha and then huma again same as above it becomes huma or hima and then the independent pronoun hunna becomes as an attached pronoun hunna or hinna and then anta which is the independent pronoun for you masculine uh, it becomes attached version is ka and then antuma is becomes kuma as an attached pronoun and the antum independent pronoun becomes kum as an attached pronoun which means all of you and then if we move to anti which means uh, second person feminine which means you women a woman you're talking to uh, anti as an attached pronoun it becomes ki so you can see the difference between the anta and the anti so in the anta has a fata at the end and the anti has a kasra at the end and similarly, when you look at the attached pronouns, the anta becomes ka, which has a fata, and the anti becomes ki, which has a kasra. And then the antuma, uh, antuma becomes kuma, just like the masculine version. And then the antunna becomes kunna, as an attached pronoun. And then uh, the ana, the independent pronoun ana, as an attached pronoun, it can take two forms. One is ni, and that's the nasab version. And the other is yi, which is the jad version. And then the nahnu, which is the independent pronoun meaning we, as an attached pronoun, it just becomes na. Uh, so as per usual, we advise the, uh, our students to have a look at the vocabulary list at the end, the vocabulary chapter at the end. Uh, and review this regularly ideally at the end of every session this curriculum is studied so that your knowledge uh, of arabic grammar grows with your vocab inshallah